come back. This is Further Solutions Academy. Further Solutions Academy. I encourage us more to share our video and also subscribe. If you have not subscribed before, just plan, kindly press your subscribe button. And also we have a lot of videos for you to play with. We over 300 videos on our channel. It means you can come here and learn any topic of your choice, mathematics, physics, chemistry, you know, any topic you need. Anyone, even though you need our help, you can reach us with this line. With this line, you can call us, you can WhatsApp us, and you can also, um, Telegram is allowed. That would be three. Uh, what's it? That would be three. And also, you can leave a comment below. You know, your, your, on your email. Now, I will be working you on the logarithm of numbers less than one. Now, we all know what a number, <coughs> number less than one. We all know what it means. It means the number can be uh, zero point. For instance, look at this number. If I have in this number, I have a um, look at this. Uh, I have a zero point zero one three nine four. Now, look, looking at it, this number is less than one. The number is less than one. What I need you to just to do here is that uh, I want to express this in terms of logarithm. I can see solution. Look at this very well. I can see that zero point zero one three nine four can be equals to. Now I will draw the decimal here. One two. Now it means one point. As far as logarithm is concerned, decimal is always relevant at standard point. Now, when a number is in standard form, it means three, four, eight, nine. This is ordinary form. This is ordinary form. And now ordinary form. I can turn to standard form by saying that what? Um, two point three four eight multiplied by ten raised to power one two three power three. Now, this time around, the number is in standard form. This is standard form. This, this is standard form. Now, if I have it 2, 3.48 multiplied by 10 raised to power 3, power 2. For your information, this is not a standard form. Because of what? The decimal is not positioned itself here. See, it can be standard form if the decimal is here. Please take note of that. Very, very important. And in logarithm of table, we always the decimal is always relevant at the point of standard. At the point of standard, that is what I'm doing here. Which I can answer that what ten multiplied by how many times does it move? Minus so what? Minus uh, two, because it moves two times. It moves two times. When you move forward, if that decimal moves front, you have it in minus. When the decimal moves back, you have it in plus. Which you need to understand those things very well. Now, if I want to work on logarithm, logarithm is always in base 10, which is, I will have a number, power 10, power 10 is power a number, which is, I'll be having, um, now, I'll be having 13 under 9, different of 4. 13 under 9, different of 4. Now, with my corporate table, I mean, logarithm table, with my four figure table, which I can acquire that very simple. Now, what I'll just do, I have logarithm of number, logarithm, which is 13 under 9, different of 4. Now, these are the words unders, these are the different, these are the number counting here, these are the number that you are counting here, and so on and so forth. Now, different of 4. Okay, now since I have that, okay, by that, I'll be having now. Now, the number now, I will have 13 under, under uh, 9, different of 4, which this will be of help to you. You have this, and you check the, this is the under, these are the differences. You can you see, the alphabet table will give you that. Now, with the help of the alphabet table, I will have it in, uh, it will be um, 0 0.1446. Now, multiply by 10 raised to power minus 2. Now, they are the same base, which I will have 10 raised to power uh, um, 0 0.1446 plus minus 
this is multiplication is to give us minus because they are on the same base indices is what i'm playing with now brackets now which i'll be having 10 raised to power uh minus 2.1448 now that is what i will need therefore i'll be having log therefore log of 0 0.0 1394 will be equals to uh, uh, 1.1 1 1.1446 1 1 now note some things before I continue now I want to emphasize I want to work on this particular thing I want to lay emphasis on that area so that you can be able to understand everything i'm about to say there now i want to understand something there the first thing i want to understand if i have a number number one note note one minus one and minus two are written written as by one and by two which we uh, we and read this is how we read it we write it as bar one and bar two please take this for that very very important now if i have minus minus we call it bar one bar two which we call it we read it in bar one and bar two now two two let me use my second marker to do the two now the fraction the fractional part of the logarithm now the fractional part of logarithm of a number of a number or number is positive and can be added or subtracted subtracted in the usual Arithmetic calculus. I will show you that now very soon. Now the next one is that um, the next one is number three. Um, number three. The integer. To the integers, which is we call it characteristics. Characteristics. Part. I've explained that earlier, which is the one of point, like point of a number uh, of the logarithm of the logarithm logarithm may be either positive. Or negative and and um, and then can be added or subtracted subtracted as Directed as is directed numbers. Now, please take note of this. Now, with this, please take note of this information. They are very, very important. Please take note of them. Now, before I end this part, let me really show some problem. Now, mm, look at this number. Now, if I have this number, now I have. Um, um, look at this number. 
find the anti anti this is anti logarithm of bar three point two eight. Now look at this number. I want to find the anti logarithm. Now solution to this problem. Take note of this. From the table, from zero point three seven two six is two three five eight. Two three five eight. Now since I have that, now it means ends. A equals to 2.3726. This is bar 2. Now, will be equals to um, when I find the answer, which is going to be 2358 multiplied by 10 is power minus 2. 10 is power minus 2, which it also be equals to 0. Point Zero two three four eight zero point zero two three four eight. Now, since I know that that is what I'm trying to explain there. Now, before we end this part, um, before we end this part, let me also explain some parts on this area. Let me explain some parts before we end this video. Please take note of that very important information. Now, before I hear this part, if look at this, look at this following numbers. numbers. Now, I have, for instance, I want to add up these two numbers together. Okay, I have this number to add up five bar. Point one plus three bar point four. Now another one is um bar six point three minus bar four point five. Now solution. Look at this. Just note this very well. Solution to both of them. I can write this as well as bar five plus is 0 0.1 and also 3 bar plus is 0 0.4 now I'm adding them together how will I add this plus this it will be 0 0.5 it means this plus this bar 5 plus bar 3 it will be bar 8 now bar 8 it also means bar 8 point what 5 now by 8.5 can you see that even though i had up this normally normally normal mathematics i will have that 8.0 plus do you get me right fine which i will have by 8.0 plus 0 0.5 which in hand in adding you have no problem which is i have to come back to now it means is allowed to split your work in this form is allowed and also let me move on to the second one which also i can say is implies um it implies um this will be given as okay will be will be given as um, now i will call it a bar seven let me call it bar seven bar seven now it means i can call it what bar seven plus 0 0.3 and also by 4 plus 0 0.5 and minus it. minus in the strain post now the same way this minus this i will be having um okay this minus this what will i do this is going to be now this is bar six sorry bar six now it means this this one will be mad. Let me put one here. I don't, I'm avoiding complex issue. Now, this will be having this. 
Now, it means if I take away one from this bar, it will be back to what? It will be back to six where I'm coming from. It means this minus this, it will be equals to it will be equals to 0 0.8. This minus this, it will be equals to bar three plus. Now, which I consider bar three plus I me mean, point point eight. But three point. Can you see how this operation is being? Now look at this. What I just did here is no. There's nothing hard there. There's nothing hard there. What I just did is that if I have by seven plus what one point. Now it also implies by six point plus what zero point three. They are all the same thing. They are all the same thing. Now because of I've told you earlier that bar is minus. Bar is minus. I will be stopping here because of my time. Time is not uh, friendly. Now, don't forget you are home with further solutions academy. Help us to share our video and also subscribe. If you have not subscribed before, just subscribe your to it for direct updates from us. And uh, to reach us, you can use this number to reach us. Or you drop your message, drop your me message on the email, I mean, or below. Now you can call us with this line, you can call us, you can WhatsApp us, and Telegram is allowed. Once again, thanks for watching.